Hello Divination and welcome. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to horizontally overlap row borders with Divi. This is the final design we're aiming to achieve. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we need to do here is to go to this website. I will include the link in the show notes below. So what we need to do is to download this free font. And to do that, all you need to do is come over here where it says free download via email. So you click on that. You enter your uh, information, your name and your last name and your email address, click continue and you'll be able to download it. And as you can see here, it says uh, $0, so it's absolutely free. So this is the font that we're going to use in today's tutorial. And also we're going to use an, a little um, icon uh, image, which is going to be applied to our background. And also this will be in the post, which I would include in the show notes below. All right, so over here, now on my dashboard, the first thing we need to do is to create a brand new page. So I'm going to come over here to pages and click on add new. So we can call this page whatever we want. So I'm just going to call this page, um, maybe let's just call this overlap. Uh, use the Diffie Builder and then I'm going to go to the Visual Builder. Great. So over here, we need to uh, build everything from scratch. So I'm going to select build from scratch and then I'm just going to close this. The next thing we need to do is to go into our sections and add some padding. So I'm going to come over here to the top left, click on this gear icon to access my section settings. And then I'm going to come over here to design spacing. And then I'm going to add a padding of 250 both to the top and the bottom like that. I'm going to save that. Next, I'm going to add a single column. So I'm going to come over here, click this plus button, add my single column. I'm going to close this for now and then go into the row settings and then click on background because now we need to add our background colors and the color we're going to add is a gradient. So I'm going to click the second tab, click the plus button. And the first color I'm going to add here is going to be white. I'm going to select my white color. And then the second color I'm going to add here is an RGBA value because it has a bit of transparency. And if you want to use the exact same color as I'm going to be using in this tutorial, I will leave a link to that in the description below. So I'm going to add my value between the brackets. Next, I'm going to come over here to gradient type and change this to radial. And then for the ra uh, radial direction, I'm going to make sure that this is set to left. And then for the column start and end position, this needs to be set at 59%. Right. And also, most importantly here, place gradient above background image. This needs to be set to yes. Right. So the next thing we need to do is to add an image to our column one background. So I'm going to click this, the, the third tab. Click the plus button and the image I'm going to add is already in my media library. And this is the image right here. I'm going to select it and then click upload an image. Now, if you want to use the same image as uh, as I'm using, as I mentioned in the beginning of this tutorial, you can go to the post, which I'll link to in the show notes below and right click on the image and then download it onto your computer and then upload it onto your media library. OK, so now we need to uh, make some uh, some uh, adjustments over here. So for the column background image size, this needs to be set to actual. So I'm going to set that column background uh, image repeat. This needs to be set to space. Next, I'm going to click on design because we need to able our, enable our row alignment. So I'm going to click here on the row alignment and align this over to the right. Now it's time to um, add our sizing. So I'm going to click here on the sizing and use custom width. I'm going to set this to yes. And then for the uh, custom width, I'm going to set this to 950. Next, let's come over here to our spacing. And for the bottom margin, I'm going to set this to 100. And then for the tablet and phone right margin, this needs to be set at minus 30. OK, so what we need to do to access the uh, phone and tablet settings, I'm going to click this little icon here. And then I'm going to add my margin right, add my minus 30 here and make sure that's the same value for the smartphone. Great. So I'm going to click back to the desktop tab. And for the top and bottom padding, I'm going to set this to zero. So I'm going to activate this change so my value can be applied both to the top and the bottom. Now let's go ahead and add our border. So I'm going to come over here to border. So the borders we're going to add, uh, this one here, the top border. So I'm going to select it. And the size for that needs to be 14. And the color needs to be black. So my next border is going to be the bottom one. So I'm going to select it. Again, it's going to be 14. 
black. And then this is going to be my final one, 14. Right, so for the border style, all this needs to be uh, double. So I'm going to set double here. Then I'm going to go back into the other ones and make sure I do the same. So for now, I'm going to go ahead and save, and then I'm going to add my text module. So I'm going to click this plus button here, search for my module, and then I'm going to select it. And then over here, I'm just going to add a text which says introduction. And then I'm going to set this into a heading. So I'm going to click here on this drop down where it says paragraph, and then I can set this to heading two. Next, we're going to add a background color to this text. So I'm going to click here on this background, click this plus button, and we're going to set our background color to white. So the next stage now is to upload the font that we added earlier on. So I'm going to come over here to the design tab, click on text, and then to upload your font, you need to click here on this drop down where it says default. And then you can see this uh, upload button. Now I've already uploaded my font. You can see here mighty. So all you have to do is to click upload and then navigate to where that font is on your computer. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is to go to the heading text and set my heading to the new font that I've just uploaded. So I'm going to come over here to heading text, make sure it's set on uh, heading two. click on the drop down, select my font. So now you can see it's changed here. So the, the color needs to be set to black. And then let's now add our sizes for, so the text size needs to be 150. So I'm just going to enter that here. Now for the tablet and the smartphone, the size needs to be different. So I'm going to click here on this little icon. And then for the tablet, this needs to be set to hundred. And then for the smartphone, it needs to be set to 50. Now let's go, let's go ahead and add our spacing. So I'm going to come over here. And for the top margin, I'm going to set it to 200. For the bottom margin, I'm going to set it to 100. Here for the left margin, I'm going to set this to minus 35%. And then for the top and bottom padding, this is going to be set at 50. Right, so the next stage now is to add our blend mode. And we are going to set that blend mode to multiply. So I'm going to come over here, click on blend mode and select multiply. So I'm going to save for now. Right, so the next stage now is to add some descriptive text. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, search for my text module, select it. So I'm going to replace this dummy text with my own. And then I'm going to go into the text settings to adjust our sizing. So I'm going to come over here to text. And for our text size, we're going to set this at 22. And then over here on the desktop, it needs to be 18 and also 15. So I'm going to click this little tab here and then click on the tablet tab, set my size to 18. And then for the smartphone, I'm going to set this to 15. Next, we're going to come over here to the line height and set it to 1.8. And then for the text orientation, we are going to center this. Click here on center. Next, we're going to go to sizing and set our size. So right now it's set at 100%. So we need to set this at 96%. Next, we're going to come over here to spacing and for our bottom margin, we're going to set this at 200. For our left margin, it's going to be minus 50%. Our top padding and our top, bad, uh, top and bottom padding needs to be set at 20%. So I'm going to activate my chain and just add my 20% like that. Next, I'm going to use my multiply blend mode, blend mode as well. So I'm going to click here on filters and then choose multiply. Now, if we take a look at our design here, we can see that our background has been applied to the wrong, uh, to the wrong section. So I'm going to come back over here to my rows and then click on background. So you can see here, this has been applied onto the actual background of this row, but this needs to be applied to column one background. Okay. So this is the color we need. I'm just going to highlight my color here and then I'm just going to delete this. And then I'm going to scroll down here to column one background and click on the second tab because we need to add the gradient over here. So I'm going to click here on this plus button, add my gradient color here. I'm going to paste my value like that. And then for my first color, this needs to be set to white. My linear gradient needs to be set, changed to radio. Direction needs to be set to left. And then our start and end position needs to be set at nine. 
And then finally, we need to activate, activate this to yes, like that. And now we can see that our design is looking like it's supposed to. So just be careful there. If you add the background onto the wrong place, it won't show this style. Okay, so now I'm gonna click on save. Okay, so on this description text, you can see that our borderline here is going across the text, which is making it difficult to read. So to fix that, I'm gonna come back over here to my module settings, click on background, and we are going to change that background to white, just like that. And now you can see it looks much better. So I'm gonna save that. We, are com we have now completed the design of this row. So what we need to do is to design the next one. So uh, to make things easy for us, we're just, go uh, we're just going to clone this. So I'm gonna click here on duplicate row. And then we're gonna make changes to this one. So I'm gonna come into my row settings, click on background. And then over here on our gradient color, I'm gonna change my color by clicking the second tab here and pasting my color between the brackets. And then for my column radio direction, I'm gonna set it to right. So basically what we're trying to do here is to just create the opposite of what we have there on the top. Next, let's go over here to our row alignment and align this to the left. So I'm gonna click here on design alignment and we're going to align this to the left. Next, let's make some adjustments to our spacing as well. So I'm gonna click here on spacing. And then for the left margin, I'm gonna click here on the tablet because right now it's set to minus 30. So we need to change this to minus 25. And we're gonna do the same for the smartphone as well. Next, let's take a look at the border because right now the border needs to be applied to the right side. So I'm gonna select my border, change my, side to, my size to 14, change this from solid to double, and then also change to black. So now here on the left, we need to uh, get rid of what we have here. So I'm just gonna go here to my left one. Right, so for now, let's go ahead and save. And then we're gonna come over here to our titles. So I'm gonna click here on the module settings. Click on design. And let's first go into spacing. So over here on spacing, our left margin needs to be set at 50%. And for our desktop and smartphone, we need to uh, set it at 58%. So I'm gonna click here, click on the tablet tab, set this to 58%. And that's gonna be the same for the smartphone as well. Now for the right margin, we're gonna set this at minus 52%. So now we can see the, uh, the complete word, which is great. And for the tablet and smartphone, I'm gonna just hit here on the tablet and this needs to be set at 58%. Okay, so now it's time to go into the description text. So I'm gonna save this. And then I'm gonna go into the settings. Now you can see here that everything is over there to the left and I don't have access to click on my settings icon. So I'm gonna come over here, click on wireframe mode, click here on this gear icon. And now I have access to it. I'm gonna switch back over here to my desktop view. So we're gonna come over here to spacing. So click on design spacing and for our left margin, we need to set it at 50%. And for the right margin, it needs to be set at minus 50%. Great, so now we've just designed this top section here as the opposite of what we have here on the bottom. So that's looking great. So this is our final design. So I'm gonna go ahead and save here and then also publish the page. Okay, so that's our first design. And then that's our second design at the bottom. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and do follow us on our social media platforms. By doing so, you'll be notified every time we release new tutorials. Until next time, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.